Hey there, today we're going to discuss the classic song called By and By, or as it's also known as, We'll Understand It Better By and By. The song is uh, written by Charles Albert Tinley, and he composed it in 1905. So let's get into it. Okay, this song's been made popular by probably every gospel church group in the in the world, and some more big name folks like Merle Haggard and the Carver family, Elvis Presley and Bill Monroe, just to name a few. Anyway, when I'm performing this song solo, I like to keep it simple and play it in the key of G. Uh, so you can use a capo if you if you want and experiment to find a key around that that allows you to sing it in your vocal range. Okay, the tempo can vary and should be as you feel like it should be. Uh, I like to play it in a shuffle around 96 to 108 beats per minute, and I tap my feet, uh, my foot to keep the feel. Uh, and the strum pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, up. So. Like most songs, the pattern can fluctuate for emphasis on any passage that needs it. Uh, as far as the intro goes, I usually like to keep it simple, but there is a turnaround at the end of the verses that could work well, and, and you can even include the turnaround in the chorus, as, and which is what I do. I, I like to do the... the uh, and add that little uh, C over G coming back to the G chord again. Now, if you're looking to add some performance flair, don't forget to incorporate your various hammer-ons and pull-offs and those easy two-note harmony licks if you need to, uh, along with keeping your bass pattern going as much as possible. It really brings the song to life. Here are a few ideas to get you started. So, um, what I'm doing is... Uh I mean, that's the thing you can do there. All you're doing is you're going to the G. You got a. It all works. 
so you heard them. So you can go do the G uh, two note run up. That's uh, first fret, second fret. We got second string, third string. And I leave that index finger there and let that middle finger roam down to the fourth string on the second fret. Hit back to the G. Find the uh, C over the G bass. Uh, it's a nice little turnaround, gets you back to G. So that's the great thing about the, the key of G. So uh, don't forget to keep those things in mind, and uh, you know, if you want to put uh, the between the verse and the chorus, uh, that works too. So you know, so work on this song this week, and we'll see you next Sunday when we'll do the next song.